Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Tom over at Gas. Today in the workshop I'm on with a 2017 Ford Transit. Uh, I think it's a Mark 8 Transit Custom and it's got the 2 litre Eco Blue engine in. So this has come in uh, with a brake issue. The customer rang up uh, driving along. He, thought he needed some new brakes so he's booked it in so the van's arrived with us uh, jumped in it and brake pedals rock hard we got no brake servo so first thing I did was whip off the vacuum hose to the brake servo and yeah no vacuum trace it back to the vacuum pump and no vacuum coming from the pump itself so then I've, I've removed the pump uh, this is what I found so we've got the old pump off the old vacuum pump runs off the camshaft and we could just see there where the gear goes onto the cam is snapped in half uh, we've got a new one there so that's from Ford now one thing I did notice if we get a little light then the camera will pick that up I'll just give him a little pick I'm not sure if you can see that good enough on the camera but there's a bit of a build up of, of rubber around the pump itself now these engines uh, rely heavily on servicing and the correct oil so these engines have a timing belt not a chain uh, they have a belt call it wet belt as it runs behind the timing cover so the belt itself is behind the timing case um, getting covered in oil all the time uh, not an issue providing the vehicles are serviced on time and that they use the correct oil uh, I've got no record of the service on this vehicle I'm not sure if it's been serviced on time whether it's had the right oil I'm not 100% sure but I've done some more checks because the last thing I wanted to do was put a vacuum pump on and then two weeks, two months, six months down the line we've got the same issue again. So I've removed the vehicle sump and as you can see we've got our main timing belt and then we've got another belt that runs the oil pump. You can just see all the rubber deteriorating on the actual timing belt itself and then if I show you the oil pickup uh, the filter itself I'm not sure if you can see that you can see all the rubber it's the rubber belt in there kind of restricting the oil flow around the engine That's good enough. Let's see if I can get a light a bit. So yeah, just the old pickup itself. Bits of rubber from the belt where it's deteriorating. So that's just down to poor maintenance or like I say using the wrong oil, the wrong oil grade, so it's important to get the right one. Always go off manufacturer's uh, specifications regarding the oil. So to get the job done, uh, we've got obviously our new brake vacuum pump which runs off the back of the camshaft. We've got a new timing belt. Uh, that comes as a kit from Ford. So we've got a new tensioner in there and a new belt. I've ordered the, other, the, the timing belt that runs the oil pump as that's a rubber belt and obviously runs in the same oil so new belt there uh, got a new oil filter obviously we'll, we'll change the oil and filter I bought a new pickup uh, pipe like filter uh, you, I've got to clean the old one out but for the sake of £10 I think it was um, it's just, just renew it same for the engine sump sometimes when you're removing them you can 
fry the service slightly and not always get a perfect seal when refitting so uh, I think that was £30, £35 maybe from, from Ford nothing really and then new timing case same again when removing these easy to damage uh, pry back the service area so I always fit a new timing case end cover and I think that is about it really so we've got both belts like I say new sump end case vacuum pump uh, and then oil and filter and that is the fix for the Ford Transit um, it's not a how-to video uh, like I say the brake the van come in for uh, customer for it was brake pads and um, turned out the brake pedal was rock hard and no no brake assist so no servo um, and like I say we stripped the vacuum pump down found that it's broke but upon inspection we found um, little bits of rubber um, around the vacuum pump so that can only come off the rubber timing belt itself and as it sits in the engine oil I mean maybe not the best design but if the, if the vehicle is maintained well and like I say if it's using the right oils shouldn't in theory have an issue but I'll get on with putting this one back together I just thought I'd do this video just to um, help some of you out if you've got the same issue or maybe you've put a vacuum pump on and like I say a couple of weeks down the line month down the line it's failed again and you're wondering what's going on is it a faulty pump but no always like I say drop the sump check the strainer make sure it's not clogged up but I hope you found this short video useful let me know in the comments um, if you've come across it seen it happened on your own van and we'll see you on the next one